was a motif in the last album. I don't know what a motif is. I'm just saying words. This is the 13. This, these are fruit stickers. Just because they looked cool. This is the rose from Beauty and the Beast because I, um, that was the first Broadway musical I ever saw. This is the plain chemtrails for my song chemtrails. And then this is my most recent tattoo. Um, it's just a bunch of little doggies and I love it so much. Um, and then I have one on my knee, which is, uh, just an eight ball. So those are my tattoos. <sighs> love that whole album. I like, Repu I mean, getaway car. I like, um, I like the last American, the great, the last great American dynasty. Love that bridge. Incredible. Um, what else? I like Illicit Affairs. I like that song too. Um, yeah. Am I back in the studio? Yes. Not right now. <laughs> but yes. That's what I've been I've been working like nonstop. Um Am I signed or independent? I recently just signed to RCA. So I'm signed now, um, which is very cool. It's been very fun and they're so awesome and so supportive and it's been so cool. <sighs> um, favorite TV show? I like um, Severance and Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets is incredible. Like, actually incredible. Okay, thoughts on Fizz? I love them. When I was on tour with Dodie, um, and like Orla was there, and they were all like, they were playing me this stuff. They were like, we started a band. And I was obsessed from the moment I heard it. Um... How things changed now you're with RCA. I am just, I just feel so much more supported and I have like so many more resources. It's so um, great <laughs> because I feel like I kind of reached uh, the ceiling, no pun intended, of um, what I could do by myself, like independently. And I wanted to do more. So they help me and it's great. And you don't even know what's coming. Um, what else? Did you write your verse and everything ends? I must know. No, I didn't. <laughs> JP played me that song and he was like, you should sing the second verse. And I was like, fuck yeah. I was like, don't need to change anything. Just singing it the way he wrote it. Um, am I working on music at the moment? Yes, I am. I'm hard at work, hard at work. And it's... Did you know it's piercing hurt? It was like a pinch and then it was like kind of, it didn't hurt that badly. It was just weird that I could like see it happening. That was the only weird part about it. Do you have your track list in order? Yes. <laughs> I do. 
Now, I don't have my guitar with me on this live because if I did, I would fully just be leaking things and I don't want to do that anymore because I'll give you a little inside information, but pretty much I have changed and rewritten and taken off and added on songs to this track list for so long that now I think only you, no one has ever heard half of the songs on this album. They're that, like every, they're that new. So that's exciting. Um. When are you going to Broadway and the revival of Next to Normal? I need it. I need it too, girl. <laughs> whenever they ask me to, whenever they make it, I'm here. And I'm ready. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I'm not telling you anything more about the album. I'm, I should. I said too much. <laughs> I didn't say too much. I just said that half the songs you've never heard. So. That's not too much, but I'm not saying anything else. Yeah, I used to leak every song that I would ever write. Like, I literally would write a song and then immediately put it on the internet, which, you know, I haven't been doing recently because I like the mystery, you know? I like the mystery of it all. I want you guys to be surprised. How are you taking care of yourself and your mental health? Um, not touring. I'm just trying to like live in the moment more and like enjoy myself more. It's hard, it's hard to like have fun. I like, I don't even know, I, you know, <laughs> like, does that make sense? <laughs> like, it's hard to, to like, I don't even know like how to say this like it's just hard to be alive sometimes all the time really like being human is so weird and like multifaceted and weird and weird again and then weird some more so it's like I'm just trying to enjoy myself and be happy that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm like settling in one place for longer than like a couple months. I'm like trying to feel more settled and not get sick all the time. Like I'm trying to take care of myself. I'm going to, I'm like going to many doctors, like I'm going to the allergist next week, you know. So I'm like trying to just, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's all weird. And I'm trying my best <laughs> to make decisions that feel right to me in the moment. And that's, that's what I'm doing. And I appreciate you guys for understanding. And for the people that don't understand, that's fine. You don't have to understand everything that I do. No one's going to understand everything I do. But as long as I understand it, that's all that matters. Will the album be even more gut-wrenching than Five Seconds Flat? Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, is there anything specific that helps you get through tough times? My boyfriend. <laughs> and Legos. And my family. And my friends. And books. I like books.
Can I do a book review? Of what? <laughs> All I read are horror books. I only read horror novels. Like, it's kind of weird. Um, I just... Okay. I just finished this trilogy called... The first one is called The Passage by Justin Cronin. And there are three books. And it was actually, like, one, some of the best books I've ever read. Like, it, they're so good. If you like... It's like post-apocalyptic apocalyptic like there's a group of like you know the apocalypse happens and then like you they have to survive after it and then it like jumps in timelines it's just so good it's so good it's so well written the characters are so good and they the plot arc and the character arcs are just like and it's amazing so if you want to read something new and you're into that stuff then i would really recommend it. it's called a passage by justin cronin what am I doing after ending this live? I'll probably just go sit on my bed and watch Smartless on the road. Because that's what I've been doing recently. Did you build the Lego flowers I gave you at the LA show? I did. I did build them. They're in my Lego room right now. Thank you for that. <clears throat> favorite artist right now the Japanese house the Japanese house their new album is incredible like actually so good it's insane I love the Japanese house obsessed their song one for sorrow two for Joni Jones like actually messed me up Good TV shows, I recommend always Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets. I mean, I'm weird and I like like really fucked up type of TV. So it's like, it's it's pretty intense uh, and like definitely a little horror. But it is one of my favorite TV shows of all time, I think. Um, it's so good. I'm obsessed and everyone in it is so good. Like, I just can't. Like, I just can't. They're so talented, all of them. Every single person. Did I get my 7-Eleven Slurpee? I did. It's, it's what my phone is resting on right now because I don't have anything else to rest it on. Um, just show, I'll show you. No, now you believe me. I don't I okay this is weird because I I like reading horror books but I don't watch horror movies because I can't take I can't do the jump scares like I just can't do it <laughs> they're too they're too crazy like I just can't um I'm excited for the Barbie movie. Yes, I'm excited for the Barbie movie. I will be going to watch that along with the Indiana Jones movie. I fucking love Indiana Jones. Like, love it. Love that that um franchise. So I will be going to see that one too. And I also just saw the second um, Miles Morales Spider-Man movie. And it was so good. It was so good. <clears throat> I have not seen Ashton City yet. Michael is not in here because he's at work. <laughs> and he doesn't even watch my lives anyway. But he's at work.
Do I have any pets? No, not here. I can't even take care of myself. Have I seen past lives? Yes, I have. Let me talk about it. That, <laughs> that movie was insane. Like, past, everyone should go see past lives because holy shit, the cinematography was bonkers. Some of the transitions, some of those shots, I was like actually blown away. And the story is just so like, it's just so, uh, it's just so good. It's just so good. Are my nails currently painted? No, I never paint my nails. But I'm getting my nails done tomorrow for something. Jordan, I'll come to Hawaii whenever Michael goes next time. I don't know when he's going, but I'll be there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm humming. What am I humming? I feel like it's a part of one of my songs, but I, I don't know. Anyone else singing on your new album with you? No. It's just me. Mm. Thoughts on The Last of Us? I have a lot. I love that. That video game is um amazing. And the TV show is incredible also. I keep everything that you guys give me, so yes, I have that scrapbook. I It was like insane, actually. You're very talented. Thank you for putting that together. It meant a lot, and I do still have it. I have everything in my room over there. Am I introverted? Yes. <laughs> That's part of why touring is so hard for me. Uh, what's your day to day like nowadays? I don't know, I wake up, I go to the studio, I come home, I eat dinner and I go to bed. <laughs> Pretty much it. Do you like coffee? I don't drink coffee. I don't drink any caffeine. Caffeine fucks me up. Like, it makes me feel like I'm dying. So, no. <laughs> I don't drink anything that has caffeine in it. I loved The Last of Us Part 2, personally. I mean, it made me sob like a little baby, but <laughs> but I loved it. I don't have a nice tattoo idea. I kind of just wait for the moment, for the opportunity, and then I just, it just comes to me. Where is my shirt from? I feel like I got this at Reformation Vintage. So it's vintage. I don't know. If you could collab with anyone, who would you choose? Harry Styles? 
Because honestly, like that AI thing of him singing ceilings sounded pretty slay, so. Harry. Um. Current Broadway soundtrack on repeat, The Light in the Piazza. That musical is incredible. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't. I, I, yeah, it's insane. I would die if you and Harry did something together. Girl, me too. Me too. from I bought this one at a sorry I meant to flip you off there I bought this one from uh like a store here in LA I got this one at a store in Philly and then this one my mom gave me for my high school graduation obviously I'd also love to collab with Billy she's an icon um Would you ever want to do hot ones? Yes. However, I am a pussy. So, I I really think that it would mess me up. Like, inside of my body. <laughs> Digestively. I don't think I would be okay. But I would want to do it. Because it would probably be entertaining. I just drank so much of that Slurpee and now I have a headache. Mm. Favorite food spot in LA? Home state. I eat there way too often. Way too often. Dreamcast for a next normal movie. Me as Natalie. Um, I've actually thought about this a lot. Me as Natalie. Um, like freaking Stephanie J. Block as, uh, what's her name? Diana. And her husband as Dan. Um, Sebastian. And then Gabe should be freaking Reeve Carney. And then Henry should be... Uh, Nicholas Barash, I think that's how you pronounce it. But you know, like, don't you see the vibes? Don't you see the vibes? I look like I could be Stephanie's daughter. I mean, let's just be honest. That would be pretty iconic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> I think we should get, um, we should make that happen. Oh, oh, and then the doctor should be Jonathan Groff. Doctor, um, what's his name? Madden? Is that his name? I don't know. It should be Jonathan Groff, the doctor. What's my hair routine? 
I um, shower and then I blow dry my bangs and, and that's it. And then I, maybe I brush my hair. Maybe. Why does everyone keep asking me what my favorite cereal is? Um, right? Jonathan Groff would slay Make Up Your Mind. He really would. Like, he actually would eat it up, so. I'm just saying, like, we need, we, we need it. The people need it, so. Things you do in your free time. I, um, I don't know. <laughs> Yet. I'm not sure. Uh, um, what are your favorite songs in Next to Normal? Well, the title, maybe, Next to Normal, that song. With the, with Diana and Natalie. It's, it's not okay. It makes me cry. So many questions. I'm confused about the cereal question. I also never answered it, so I, I like Honey Nut Cheerios, I guess. <laughs> um. Can you explain why you can't do a flip? Because I'm not flexible or athletic. Okay, maybe I'll do like three more questions and then I'm gonna go. questions make them good people <clears throat> Oh, Michael, hi. Um, <laughs> I 
I'm just waiting for a question that like I haven't answered before that's like new, you know? But I do realize that when I when my face is just like resting, it looks like I'm like a bitch. So sorry. My goal. <laughs> Um, must haves on your rider for tour I have um, Pocky on my rider and seaweed dried seaweed and um, marshmallows and like a bunch of sandwich stuff and then like hummus and chips and fruit and stuff I prefer chocolate pocky personally that's just me Oh. oh, I'm tired. Mm. Sorry that this live is like so boring. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting here. <clears throat> uh, will you sing something right now? What should I sing? Acapella. Nothing is good acapella. Like, what can I sing right now that wouldn't be, like, weird of me to be singing? Nothing, so. Um. Okay, I might go. I might go, guys. But let's let's manifest this next to normal cast, please, because it would be pretty iconic. Um I'm not singing the cup song. Uh, <laughs> um okay. I'm going to go. But thanks for watching this random live. Happy Slurpee Day. Make sure you go get your free Slurpee and you stream All My Ghosts. Um, can't wait for you to hear what I've been working on. Soon. Maybe. I don't know. Anything. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you.